Hello, Internet. Well, my aim was to make a video the other day. It was kind of a vlog. I thought, you know, I'll take the camera out and I will film something exciting. And what I was going to do is take out the, uh, the drone. Now, my brother-in-law has a DJI Spark and I went down to, to Bristol to see him and my sister because uh, they've just had a baby. So I, I went down and it was supposed to be the weekend of, they were having a baby shower, uh, but she gave birth a few days before. So obviously we went down anyway and uh, got to see the baby. So I got to see my new nephew, which was exciting and awesome. While I was down there, he said, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll go out um, and we'll have a play with the drone. Cause he told me a while back uh, that he'd bought one and he'd had a brief play with it. And yeah, he'd only flown it a little bit and he's like, oh, this would be your type of thing. So, you know, we should go out and, and fly it. So I did. Uh, and then before I left, he said, he gave it me and everything and said, you might as well take it, uh, have a play with it, seeing as I'm going to be very busy having a newborn baby, obviously. So I was like, great. So fast forward on a few days, I'd, it, I'd recharged it and everything. And I thought to myself, you know what? I'm going to go out and I'm going to film, uh, get some cool aerial footage. Now, living in Sheffield, I thought, oh, there's this great area um, that's elevated. Obviously, Sheffield's very hilly. And I thought, it's a great area. It's out of the way, not really near anything as such. Um, I'll take it there, fly it, and I'll get a good view of the city without actually being in the city. Now, general drone-like laws and um, advice, I suppose, to give you guidelines are not to be within a certain distance from built-up areas, cities, people, things like that. Now, one concern I did have is that it was quite close to the train station, but I knew I wouldn't be flying it over the train station uh, because the area is basically a raised bit behind the train station. So even just being on this raised area, you can see over the train station. I thought, well, I'm flying it straight upwards and within the limit, that's perfectly fine. So we took it out. There were a few people around and I thought, you know, drones are still a bit, you know, people will get nosy. So I thought, you know what, we'll go a bit further up because there's actually this big um, monument type thing. And uh, so, yeah, we went up, flew it there. Um, I will put in the footage that I did get. It's very short um, and I'll explain why. <laughs> so in the DJI app, there's a thing called geofencing. And what it does is it uses your GPS obviously knows where the drone is at all times uh, in order for it to land, you know, have a home point and stuff like that. But what it also does is it has a list of the no-fly zones or the NFZs um, wherever you are. So it won't actually let you fly somewhere you can't. The main ones being uh, like military bases and um, certain areas like that. It just won't, won't let you. Um, and they've even, <clears throat> I think they've even kind of made it a bit more strict because of there was a recent thing in the UK about someone flying and causing disruption with a drone at Heathrow Airport. Obviously, common sense, don't fly drones over airports. But anyway, some idiot decided to and so yeah, they've implemented this geofencing. So I thought, great, I'm not gonna be able to fly it where I'm not meant to anyway, you know, still being quite a new like drone pilot as such. So, so yeah, so we started flying it up. There was one or two people walking past. Nobody said anything. People looked like, oh, you know, clearly saw us playing around with it and, and testing out the features, like, you know, it can follow you and do, like, selfie mode and stuff like that. So I was excited to try out, see what I could do. So I flew it up this monument, which is the footage I'll, I'll put in here, um, basically just to get a nice cinematic shot, and then you still get the city in the background. So I was like, great. Now it did pop up and say, you are near the edge of a no-fly zone, which I didn't understand that it got it built in before that point. And it kind of shocked me. I'm like, oh no, oh, I've got to bring it down. I'm going to go. And then I realized it said, you know, you, it won't let you go into it, but you can press a button and request permission digitally um, to be able to fly over this area. Now I think it was a temporary no-fly zone over uh, a nearby like football ground. I presume they have, they, you know, for certain events, they make certain areas 
no fly because obviously that that you know they don't want people going over at that point. Uh, I'm still not quite sure whether it's a permanent no fly zone or temporary, but it popped up and I was like, nope, don't want permission. I'm gonna move it. I'm like, I'm out of the zone anyway, but I don't want to be really close in case someone sees and decides to report it. And you know, um, with them having the capability of filming, there is a lot of reports, and I've looked online at that the police reports that people have disclosed, you know, through the, um, oh, what's it called now? Freedom of Information Act. You can view like your local city's police reports. You can ask them, say, oh, can I view anything that was reported to do with robbery or, and, and you know, you won't get all the information. You'll get what what was reported, what the officer found, etc. So there's a lot like, oh, someone noted a drone flying around, officers went out, they weren't doing anything wrong or they, they, they stopped flying it or, you know. Um, so I thought, you know what, I'll I'll just move it away. Um, and yeah, everything should be fine. So we moved a little bit further back. At that moment, literally what, 30 seconds after I got this prompt on the screen, you know, about uh, being near a no-fly zone, um, <laughs> all of a sudden, we heard a helicopter and me and they were half just completely panicked. And we were like, oh, is that for us? Have we done something wrong? Like, had no idea what was going on. So I'm like, right, land it, put it in my bag, off we go. And yeah, literally following the um, following the helicopter, we could hear police sirens. So literally we freaked out, it scared us, we put it away, brought it home, end off. Um, so yeah. Um, so yeah, we had a bit of a scare. Don't think we were doing anything wrong. I think it just coincided and looking on the local news, something had happened nearby. There was actually a, um, a guy tried to rob, um, a takeaway or a shop or something. And he'd got a massive machete with him and police basically locked him in there and someone put a video online of it. And, um, he decided to escape by running upstairs in the, to the flat above or whatever and then jumping out the window. So there's footage of this guy jumping out the window, um, right into the police who are waiting for him on the pavement, obviously, literally falls out the window, well, jumps out the window, lands straight in front of him, gets arrested. Now we think that that was in the area where this no-fly zone was, yeah, no was near. So we think what we heard was the police go into that incident, but it just so happened to coincide with was flying the drone. So yeah, anyway, a few days after that, I was determined. So one morning we got up, we'd had a bit of food and whatever, and I went to my other half and went, right, let's go and fly the drone. So I did research online and Sheffield, you're not actually allowed to, uh, you're not actually allowed to fly in public parks on the council website. Um, their guidelines for, for Sheffield say, uh, you're not allowed to fly it over council owned property which to me unless it's a private thing like surely that's the whole city so normally people fly it in parks um but apparently the council no you're not allowed so of course in a city wide open areas where it would be safe to fly as long as there's no people around would be parks and apparently they don't allow it so it was a bit of a bit of a Kind of, I was a bit stuck, basically. So I decided, oh, let's go. We'll have a day out in York. I'll take this camera and I'll take the drone. And if we get, if we find anywhere to fly it, we can do and yeah, see what we get. But unfortunately, if you've never been to York, if you're in the UK and you've never been to York, then go to York. It's really nice, packed full of like history and things, plenty of old school pubs, a lot of history. We actually went into, um, the Golden Fleece, which is a, it's a, a really, really old pub and it's meant to be one of York's most haunted buildings. Uh, it was on Most Haunted. The other half likes watching that, so she's like, oh, I want to go in, I want to see the bar where the ghosts are meant to be and stuff like that. It, it was it was interesting going in there. 
and uh, the staff have got humour, so they have actually got a skeleton um, sat on a bar stool, like as a, as a prop. And you know they've got all the news articles about ghosts and and things like that. They they embrace the fact that oh, you know, this is meant to be a haunted place. And um, yeah, I keep going on tangents, don't I? Um, yeah, so if you've if you've not been to York, go to York. Plenty of history, um, and plenty of little pubs, and it's just great. It's great. So alas, I didn't get to make the video I wanted because I didn't I didn't actually take any. I didn't get my camera or the drone out that day. We were too busy just walking around soaking it all in, and uh, yeah, so that video never happened. Don't think I've got any foot. I think I might have only got footage of of on the train, and then. On the train, I put the camera away and never came out again. So, <laughs> yes, that's my little story. I say little story. I'm rambling on as usual, but hey, there you go. So, yes, that was my dilemma with the drone. And I'm still still trying to find places to go where I'm not going to get told off. I want to do it the right way. You know what I mean? I don't want to break any laws or go against any guidelines. I want to, you know, fly it safely, fly it nicely, get some good footage and whatever. Um, so I'm going to do my research. And at the moment, it's just still sat waiting to be flown again. So if you're in the UK, if you're in Sheffield or Yorkshire or the nearby area, and you've got a drone and you fly it and stuff like that, then drop us a comment. Let me know where you go. Let me know if you know any... Um, exclusions to these regulations or you know if you have any info that'd be greatly appreciated because i really want to get out and get some awesome footage with it and hopefully start making more videos that aren't just me sat in a room um yeah so anyway thank you for watching thanks for putting up with me ranting and hopefully i shall bring you some more videos shortly goodbye <laughs>